we continue with the problems of tension member the next problem with welding we will take an unequal angle 1.5 meter long of a truss is connected to the gusset plate it carries an ultimate tension of 230 kN design using 4 mm weld assume fy equal to 250 newton per millimeter square and fy equal to 410 newton per millimeter square so now let us uh, try with the an unequal angle section you can go with the equal angle also it is left to you the length of the member is 1.5 meter that is equal to 1500 mm so later we may need to check this slenderness uh, ratio also so the thickness of the weld is given 4 mm the throat thickness tt equal to k into s so it is uh, 0.7 into 4 which is 2.5 mm therefore design load is given in the problem 230 km we know that the gross uh, section the strength from uh, clause 6.3.1 is tdg equal to ag into fy divided by gamma m not so we can calculate the area from this 230 is the load 250 is fy and gamma m not is 1.1 we get 1012 mm square as the ag so using steel table for unequal angle with respect to the area near to this we will uh, go with section 75 by 50 by 10 mm so for 75 by 60 50 by 10 mm the area is 1152 mm square therefore tdg equal to 1152 into 250 by 1.1 the strength comes out to be 261.818 kN which is greater than 230 kN so the selected section is okay for time being now the net section rupture we will see the strength in the net section rupture tdn equal to alpha into an into fy divided by gamma m1 so assuming a welded connection they have given it is welded connection there is nothing to assume so alpha equal to 0.8 so what is the value of an it is a welded connection so whatever the gross area is there it itself is a net area so tdn equal to 0.8 into 1152 into 410 by 1.25 it is 302.28 kN which is again greater than 230 kN again the selected section is okay for us now here since we have an, a welded connection we need to get cxx or czz value from the steel table so from the steel table we get cxx equal to 26 mm by assuming the longer edge is connected to the gusset plate and the shorter leg is the outstanding leg here now we will calculate length of the weld length of the weld can be easily calculated using uh, uh, p2 into 0 by taking moment about this plus p1 into 75 equal to 230 230 is the applied load into 10 raised to 3 that is td into 49 so upon solving we get P1 equal to 150.266 kilonewton. So P2 works out to be 150.036 kilonewton. So now you know how to calculate the L1 and L2. So we get the value of uh, uh, L1 or LW1 equal to 283.383 millimeter. So for uh, more calculation about the calculation of the length of the weld you can refer to the video of welded connection how to calculate the length of the weld lw1 and lw2 it is lw2 is 150.372 mm therefore total length of the weld or effective length of the weld is lw equal to addition of these two 433.755 approximated to 434 mm so the value of avn and avg it is a welded connection so nothing to deduct 434 into 10 10 is the thickness so 4340 mm square is the value of avn and avg now atg and atn is depending on length of the connected leg into the thickness it is 75 into 10 it is again 750 mm you calculate tdb1 and tdb2 so upon calculation of tdb1 we get TDB1 equal to 790.87 kN and TDB2 equal to 910.137 kN. So here also the values out of these two, the least value 790.87 kN is again greater than uh, 230 kN. Therefore, the tensile capacity is the least of these three values. That is gross section yielding, net section rupture, and block shear. therefore td is equal to 271.81 kN again it is greater than 230 kN therefore the selected section 75 by uh, 50 by 10 mm 
is sufficient to take up the applied load of 230 kN. Therefore, the selected section is safe. Now, last step here, you have to check the slenderness ratio because we have uh, the length of the member about 1500 mm. So, whenever the length of the member is more, you go for uh, check for the slenderness ratio. So, slenderness ratio equal to L divided by R minimum that is 1500 divided by 10.6 which works out to be 141.5. Now, this 141.5 is to be compared with the table number 3, page number 20. So, now page number 3, table number 2, sorry, pay, table number 3, page number 20 I have taken. So, here there are totally 6 categories are there. Out of that, I have to go for the 5th category. It is a member normally acting as a tie in a roof truss. They have mentioned it is a truss member or bracing system not considered effective when subjected to possible reversal of stress into compression resulting from action of the wind or earthquake force. Also, in the case of tension members such as bracings, pre-tension to avoid sag need not satisfy the maximum slenderness ratio limit. So, here KL by R value is equal to 350. But in our problem, we get KL by, we got KL by R that is a slenderness ratio 141.5. So, for the uh, slenderness ratio for trusses, 350 is the value which is well greater than for 140.5. So, whatever the section we have selected or chosen is safe. Okay. If in the problem, the reversal of stresses, the slenderness ratio allowed is in, it is uh, greater than 140.5. Further, if you consider that case also, it is safe. That is a second category, a tension member in which reversal of direct stress occurs okay, due to the loads of wind, loads other than the wind and seismic loads. Here the value is uh, 180 is the slenderness ratio. So, whatever the slenderness ratio we got 141.5 is well less than the slenderness ratio limits. Thanks for watching.